Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Lori Palumbo, who is the Chief Operating Officer for Island Destinations. And we're going to talk to Lori a little bit about her group, which is a group of wonderful resorts and hotels around the world, uh, and also how they're dealing, obviously, with the crisis. But there are a few new programs they're putting in that are kind of interesting, very interesting, actually. We're going to talk to her about that and more on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Lori, how are you and where are you? Um, very well, thank you. Under the circumstances, feeling good. I'm actually in my office today, uh, socially distanced properly. The building is closed, uh, but I feel better coming in for a few hours. Yeah, no, it's nice that you can get in there and get away. Probably you're, 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 you're getting housebound like all of us, and just to get out of the thing and go to another place to work is great, but I know the feeling. Exactly. Um, My husband is working from home, so I, it just doesn't work. I think it's better. Uh, <laughs> I get out for a few hours. socially distance on either on, yes. on opposite sides of the house. <laughs> it's tough. Exactly. Let's talk a little bit about, first of all, for those uh, travel advisors, the few that might not know uh, Island Destinations, talk about uh, uh, the group and, and who you are and what you do. Okay. So Island Destinations is a four, well, four and five star tour operator focusing on sun and sand beach destinations throughout the world. Uh, are, we're experts on what we sell. Uh, we know our properties intimately and we only sell to travel advisors. We don't sell to the consumer direct. That's fantastic, and we love that. Uh, I know I've been to a few of your events, and they're always well attended with lots of great travel advisors on the luxury end, and your properties are amazing. Now, now, how uh, has uh, Island Destinations been handling, obviously, the big question of the day, the cor coronavirus crisis, uh, and, and helping its member hotels and resorts, as well as the travel advisors who sell them? So... The main, the main thing that we had to focus on is um, information, uh, is to have up-to-date information for our advisors and with our speak to our partners daily. It's phone calls, it's Zoom calls, it's uh, emails, staying on top of everything, keeping the information um, uh, relevant and on our website so advisors could access it easily. Uh, it's uh, knowing when hotels are opening, when they're closing, if closure, closures have been extended, and then also uh, protocols and, uh, and also knowing at each destination, are they allowing Americans in, when? Uh, and so then we're, we're staying very much on top of that to make sure that we could give clients up to the date, up to the moment information. Yeah. Now, what are you hearing from your hotel and resort members uh, who are part of your collection? How are they faring during this downturn? I assume most of them have been closed and many may be starting to reopen now. Exactly. Um, well, everyone's struggling, needless to say. Uh, we've all had tremendous cancellations. So we're all working very hard on trying to keep business on the books by offering incentives for clients to, um, to postpone rather than cancel. Uh, so we've been working very closely on, on that. And, uh, and as you said, if things are closed, there's not much else we can do. So they're really focusing on new protocols, on how, how can they make it about um, comfort and confidence. We have to make clients, guests, feel comfortable to travel and, and, and ha have them have a picture of what that's going to look like. It'll still be luxury, but it'll feel different. So yeah, now well, it's these days, any travel is a luxury, right? It's like anywhere we can go is going to be a luxury, right? Exactly. Exactly. So now, now the, the thing about it, now you're getting these slew of reopening dates in various parts of the world, whether it's the Caribbean. I know you have a lot of properties down there. And uh, I, I guess you have to keep uh, travel advisors up to date on what's open and also uh, how they even can get people there. And, and as you said, whether the island itself uh, will allow visitors. Exactly. So that, again, it's, it's every day checking. Things are so fluid. You have, we have trips booked and a flight might cancel or uh, schedule change. And, you know, th thank God we're very adept at that. I have a 24-7 uh, service, so uh, handled by my own team. So an advisor could always speak with someone. But we check, we check on everything every moment up to date. Everything is very much up to date about knowing when the hotel is opening, if a flight is operating, uh, and if the, you know, what the client's experience will be like. Believe it or not, we are seeing um, bookings every single day uh, to the Caribbean as well as to Asia, believe it or not. Uh, mm -hmm. Some bookings for the fall, uh, a few for the summer, and most things are for the fall and festive and beyond has been coming in nicely. 
Yeah, well, that would have been one of my questions is how book, people are actually booking in this and they, they definitely are interested in traveling, maybe not at the levels that we're used to, but uh, clearly the Caribbean and, and even domestically, I'm sure everybody wants to, wants to get out. And, and it's interesting you are getting Asia bookings because that, those regions of the world uh, have dealt, at least some of them, dealt with the crisis pretty well and their properties are open. I keep getting things from Vietnam and all mm -hmm. kinds of places and they're opening up hotels and I'm like, great, that's fantastic. Uh, but the real thing is, you know, you just have to keep on top of it and figure out, uh, you know, what you can book as a travel advisor. And for that matter, what are you hearing from your travel advisors, the ones you work with? What, what are they doing at this time? Except for those, you know, obviously some are booking. So, well, it you know, it, an advisor today has to be very sensitive. It's, it's a conversation with your client. Everyone is feeling this very differently. So there are some clients that are ready to travel, and there are others who are saying, don't talk to me unless there's a vaccine. So it, it's got to be a very, you know, it's got to be a conversation with your client to see where they're at and how they're feeling. And I find, you know, some advisors are out there marketing and others are just sitting back and, you know, taking a step back and just waiting for things to calm down a bit. But I, I'm feeling now from advisors, they're, um, they're, they're more ready to get out there a bit. Like yeah. everyone wants to get their toes in the water and see where it's going to go. Well, I know a lot of them were very reluctant at first. They didn't think it was the time to start actively mm. trying to sell to their clients. And then the question was, when was the right time to be? But, you know, obviously we see a real movement here in the U.S. to open for business in, in a number of states. I mean, I just heard that uh, as we're interviewing here, uh, Las Vegas may open on June 4th, uh, mm. for example. And obviously uh, in places like Florida, uh, the hotels are reopening and uh, things seem to be getting back to business. And um, Universal Orlando is going to be opening on, uh, I think, the 5th or the 6th of June. So there's a lot of movement to do that. So maybe people, the advisors think it's okay now to talk to their clients about booking, right? Exactly. You know, exactly. And it's different in every part of the country. You know, New York, everyone's unaffected as badly as New York was. So you go to other parts of the country and they're not wearing a mask. And so it feels very different. We're, we're feeling honeymooners. Couples are traveling. Honeymooners are booking their honeymoon. So everyone is, you know, again, you have to just be sensitive to what your clients are looking for and where they're at and what part of the country they're in and how they're feeling. Now, one of the things I did want to talk to you about is that you sort of looking into other ways you can help um, both travel advisors and uh, their customers. And, and you're developing a new program, I believe, sort of almost like a virtual summer camp uh, for, for kids and maybe their families. And um, uh, how does this, how, how is this going to work and what's the goal? Because obviously a lot of summer camps, uh, which used to be the way you got your kids out of, out of your hair for about three or four weeks or maybe more. And I can say that because my, my daughter was, has been running summer camps for the past few years. Uh, a lot of them are closed and, and a lot of people are introducing kind of virtual camps. What, what, what exactly is this program that you're doing? Okay, well, it's not a virtual camp. It's actual camp. At it's our, actual our camp. Resort. Okay, my it's, actual, it's, it's actual camp, yes. So what we did was actually, you know, our, our advisors um, – Thank goodness we have some very loyal clients, and they started calling me and telling me, you know, we need U.S. product. You know, that, that's what clients are looking for. Some people want to stay closer to home, drive destinations. You know, can you help us out? So uh, we took a look at some of our partners, and we reached out, and uh, we started to contract in the U.S., and this is very different from island destinations, needless to say, um, starting a U.S. program. But um, it, we launched it pretty quickly. We didn't have a lot of time, needless to say, and our partners have been wonderful. And we're up and running with, we're launching the program with about 20 properties and we're adding more every day. So actually what, so when we heard about closures for summer campus, day camps and sleepaway camps are closed, what are people going to do? And uh, so we started to look at resorts that have private homes, uh, villas, uh, you know, two and three bedroom accommodations where people can be socially distanced. And we're looking at a family or maybe two families traveling together where um, they could be um, private and have a private camp experience where they could have their own personal counselor. We've hired a camp director to customize and personally design based on the destination, the activities for the day. And, um, and, there's a, and there's also a spot for, for um, the adults if they have to work remotely, as well as having evenings for the adults if they need some grown-up time. Well, I, you know, I, I've always wanted to go back to camp, so I, you shouldn't <laughs> exclude the adults from this summer camp idea. This I know. That's the ticket. 
Exactly. Don't you want to be slimed? Uh, absolutely. And I want to have all the camp games and everything else and uh, that, I, that I've heard so much about. Uh, I, I actually personally never went to camp, but, but I do, as I said, have a daughter who uh, is actively involved in planning all this stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting. I, I guess I misunderstood that this is not a virtual camp. This is real camp at specific resorts. So what are some of the resorts that you're offering? Okay, so some of the resorts would be Chatham's Bar Inn. Oh, I love that property. We we that lovely? There. Yeah, it is one of the best. And it's it's. Uh, I've met the general manager. We've done interviews here on uh, Insider yeah. Travel Report, both with the GM and his executive chef. It is a wonderful property. And uh, I'll be, I'm, I'm volunteering now. I will summer, go. summer in Chatham Bars Inn, uh, and I'll, I'll do the whole camp thing. <laughs> yeah, we have um, – we have uh, – uh, the, res the resort at Paws Up, uh, Watch Hill, Mustang Map Monument, uh, to name a few. Well, we just had Watch, Watch Hill, you know, we just had, well, I don't know, that, that I know exactly where that is. Uh, uh, there's a wonderful property there, too, that we just interviewed the GM, uh, uh, the, you know, that, that is amazing. But yet, it's all local, right? Yeah, it's all local, but we've also done a few. We have Casa de Campo in the program. We have Nizuk in the program. We have Beach Enclave. Um, Grace Bay Club. So we have a few Caribbean and Mexico resorts, but mostly everything else, Amangiri. Uh, so uh, Montage is uh, joining us. So several different uh, properties throughout the U.S. Think of all luxury resorts where they have um, a privacy component, uh, for like a private home or villa or uh, tents, uh, things of that nature, where then also you could have this private counselor for your family so your children are not in the camp with other children. And it's all customized to the type of activities in the destination and what your children like. If your children like art, then there'll be coloring and painting and, you know, different things that you actually speak with this camp director and she custom did not designs the program and uh, sends all the goods down to the hotel uh, for your stay. Now, that's great. Now, what size groups? I mean, you said maybe one family or maybe two families traveling together. So what size group uh you know, it, could, it could be any size. It could be it could be two adults up to you know twenty thirty people, if if they wanted to in separate in separate homes. But we're thinking most people will probably be two families traveling together, so maybe eight ten people something like that. And so then they have their own customized program and their own customized uh, camp director uh, who can provide all these activities for how, how long? How long are we talking about for stays? We're talking seven, fourteen, twenty one nights up to thirty night stays. Okay, well, it, it may not serve the purpose of getting the kids away from me in the summer, but uh, maybe it's even better, you know? It's, it sounds like, uh, well, you know, it's, an, it's a great family experience, and uh, if you can deliver that, I mean, I'd say you probably want to do that even in the future, right? Well, it's a re yes, we'll continue this definitely. Well, now we're, we're now adding a U.S. program. Uh, we'll, we'll continue it uh, ongoing. Uh, we're getting tremendous, uh, call, tremendous um, buzz about it and lots of calls. We already did several bookings. From the first day we sent out uh, uh, the teaser uh, video, we already got it booking. Yeah. So, and, uh, and the sales are very nice. They're, you know, average bookings are 30,000, 40,000. Uh, so there's a, a great opportunity here for advisors to reach out to their customers. That's also what we've done. Uh, we have a video that we can white label for every advisor and also a brochure being launched this week that we can white label. So it makes it very easy for an advisor to just put it out in their social channels or to go ahead and email to clients. And um, I think they're going to see um, results from it. No, that's great news, and it sounds like a wonderful program, as I said, uh, that you can continue to do even beyond when the crisis is over next exactly. year. Exactly. Um, or even even maybe not during summer. Uh, go, go in other times of the year when things are – are, are a little less crowded and things like that. Uh, and so uh, any, I mean, this is a wonderful program. Any other programs that you're developing uh, uh, during this period that, that, you know, I mean, it's great when I hear such innovative things happening that, you know, we're not just sitting on our, our hands waiting for the bookings to start again, but we're mm -hmm. uh, st starting and developing new products that travel advisors can sell, right? Exactly. We have, to, we have to be proactive. These are what clients are looking for. Uh, believe it or not, we just uh, did a booking for the program over the weekend. And one of the nights, we have three rooms and we can't get one of the nights. So there's obviously a demand 
for clients to to go to these uh, destinations in the U.S. So there's a very big opportunity here. And I agree, you just can't sit back. You know, we want to put people back to work. We all need to earn money. Um, advisors need to earn their commissions. So this is um, a great start to something new. So actually, when you ask if anything else new, we did um, plan to launch. We never sold Europe. And we did, um, we were launching Greece this summer. Unfortunately, that may be um, held back a bit. I mean, we are ready and Greece is saying that they're opening up. So we'll see if we could do that. So we want to expand a bit into Europe, but st sticking with the US theme, uh, as you said, think about it in the fall and the winter. Okay, it might be a little bit cooler, but now is it more about wellness retreats? Is it more about going, you know, to get away and relax and, and um, have some private time? So, and so is it more outdoor things like hiking and, you know, maybe it's not swimming, but it's hiking and it's, um, uh, cooking classes and different things for different interests. So yes, we want to we want to keep the program going through the rest of the year. Well, it's sad if you uh, Greece is wonderful, and I know they are opening, and they they fortunately for them didn't get it as bad as some other European countries. And I know they would love to get tourists. We just have to get them there. Uh, but the the program you're talking about, I mean, as I said, I want to go back to summer camp, but I want to do it at a luxury resort. I mean, that's that. Exactly. You know, you know, there are parts of camp I probably never liked as a kid, but I can certainly stand one in a luxury hotel or resort. Exactly. And that's, and, and that's the other thing. So now when you're in these private areas in these homes, it's about not, if you don't feel comfortable going to the hotel's restaurant, there'll be a dining, a private dining experience available for you. So we'll customize everything based on how a client um, is, what's making them comfortable and, and giving them the confidence to travel. That's great. The great done. Now, is there anything else you want to tell our 100,000 travel advisors out there? Uh, that's, that's who we go out to now about what uh, you're doing and what they should be doing at this time. So I, I think we've talked about it already, but what I would really say is to, um, to be out there and on your social channels to market, take advantage of these white label um, programs that we're offering where we're just wrapping up the marketing for you. We drop your logo on it and all you do is send it out. Uh, and I think that will drive some business. The other thing that I highly, highly recommend is insurance. I think that's been the biggest challenge uh, during these times and it's been difficult for everyone. And the great thing at Island Destinations, all our insurance and waiver programs protect commission in full for the advisor. So I highly recommend looking at those programs. They're a little bit different now. They're not canceled for any reason under um, you know, the COVID situation, but they still protect your commission and they still protect your client should they need to cancel. So there's several different programs we offer and that's what I would highly recommend. <laughs> No, absolutely. Uh, that's great advice. And I, I know, obviously, those who've had insurance and everybody who's relying, I mean, in truth, a lot of suppliers, a lot of hotels, tour operators, and cruise lines have put in some very generous cancellation rebooking policies. And even some, you know, that's been the issue about ref refunds. Uh, but what you're suggesting is also get a layer of travel insurance in there, too. And I know the travel insurance companies themselves have been working on this to develop even better programs, uh, you know, in case we have, you know, unfortunately, maybe a relapse of this whole thing, uh, you know, which we got hope we don't. Uh, but, you know, this is this is clearly something that that uh, needs to be done. But that's great advice. Thank you. Now, great chat. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, we're 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 all about done. Yeah, that we're good. And uh, Lori, I, I do want to thank you for taking the time uh, to okay. talk to us about Island Destinations and obviously this new program, summer camp for the kids, but for the adults. Uh, it sounds great. And uh, where do I sign up? I, you, you mentioned one resort right away. Then I'm I'm ready to go up and have have some lobsters on the beach at uh, Chatham Bars Inn. Uh, they promised me that earlier. I gotta gotta go back to them now that they're open and doing this. Uh, but it's great to hear these new innovative products that you're putting out, and I know that travel advisors will appreciate it. Again, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you, James. Great to see you. Stay well. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>